for, for the previous uh, technique we did, it's more like work when the guy keep the hips in the ground. He's don't use too much the hips to defend me to come close. So this one is more easy. You know, bring more close to him or even for the head passive. All that position is more like I want to keep the hips in the ground. So it's more easy to go to there. So if the guy is already achieving his hips, it's not make too much sense I start attack here. No, I start force, see? Or go here, I need force. So the idea is now I'm feeling the way he's used the hips now, and now I need to work more for pass more that way. So the idea is now I want distance between my hips and his hips, okay? You can like do like as example, for example, I use like both hands and the hips or even only one. The idea is I want to pin the hips in the ground. Okay, I want to pin the hips in the ground. And I sit here in my ankle, and the foot can be like this, you know, it can sit like normal that way. But if you're able to sit that way, you feel okay, you know, it's not pain. It, I think it's better because you can, you know, lift the leg more fast and everything. In my case, now I don't feel comfortable here, it's my to pain more than actually I feel comfortable. So I need to do that way. But I need to be careful more for if I need to move. So it can limitate me, okay? So both do the both way. Foot and sit the hips really low or put the tools in the ground and sit that way. So another thing is I try to move a little bit. I don't keep like my hips that way. You see, I don't see this. I need to use my hips a little bit far away so I become more strong. When the guys start pull my, my lapel, I become more strong. You see, if I feel that way, like my hips that way, turn that way, I become weak. So I need really head posture. So the posture start from the neck to the hips, you know? The neck is important too. The neck and the hips. Yeah. So I need to be in that posture. See, not this, this. I become more strong. So I can grab here and the hips, create, like again, the idea I want to create the distance between my hips and his hips. So I need foot in the ground. I can move with one leg here, another leg I go like that. And I want to lift a little bit my hips and twist in the same time. And twist. And now I have my knee in and can wait here and now we can work for some passing down. Okay? I go again. The hips is more like hips. I like this, it's not too much attack here. So I need to here and hit that hip. So now I want to make distance from his hips and my hips. Posture, hips, head. And now I can put like one knee in the middle and another leg, you can just sit that way or spread your leg. So the idea of my weight, my pressure, all in his hips, okay, all the hips. And at the same time, when I lift, I lift my hips, I turn my hips, I turn. Yeah, I do that movement. I want you to move, my hips go straight that way, align that way, I want you to turn it. Okay, at the same time, I do like this. See, all my weight in the hips, basically I do just this, for stand up. Okay. Grab here, posture, up of the inside. Even some people love to use that inside too. Okay, you can combine, you can use this thing too. But the key for that technique is not the pain in the leg. The key here is the space you create. But you able to use this in the same time. Okay, use your elbow to open to. See, so I go here and keep, keep the elbow inside. Go here, that. And back and strike. And wait for Okay?